Ooh, jelly beans! Perfect for Easter! Here's a cute little basket that you can make to celebrate Easter. So why go out buy so many baskets when you know when Easter is over you're not gonna use them anymore? Use this cute little basket without spending too much money. Let's begin, shall we? You will need two sheets of paper. Pick any color of your choice. It could be identical or a different colors like what I'm doing right now. I am using the regular color printing paper. To make it into a perfect square, I fold the paper into a triangle and then remove the excess paper. When you have your perfect square, fold the paper in half to create the center crease. Then unfold the paper and fold one end of the paper into the center crease. Do the same to the opposite side. Take the curtain folds and fold the paper in half again. We are using the center crease as a guide again and fold one end of the paper into the center crease. Of course, do the same to the opposite side. Your current fold should look something like this. Hold one end of the flap down and open the other like so. Remember to create a solid crease. You are kind of folding the inner flap into a triangle. When your outer layer lines up perfectly, then you know your inner fold is correct. Fold the loose flap to the opposite side to create another crease. As you can see, you're pretty much doing the same thing. Just remember to line out the edge of the papers properly before forming the crease. Now you have the second flap ready. Hmm, now just repeat the same process on the opposite side. It's fairly simple. Notice how I pay special attention to the lineup of the paper before forming the crease. This will help to make the basket more symmetrical. So it's definitely worth it to pay attention to these tiny little details. And also remember to fold the flaps to the opposite sides to create the crease. This will help you to make the next steps easier. Now you should have four flaps. Well, if you take one of the flaps, you notice it turned into like a little pouch. And you can just push it down to form it into a square. Repeat the same process to the rest of the flops. You will notice that each pouch has their outer layer of paper. Just fold them to the opposite side. Each pouch should have two paper flops. Fold them over and you will notice a center crease. Fold the paper into the center crease. And do the same to the opposite side. Okay, so let's see you one more time in close-up. Alrighty, there's two paper flop, fold them over, notice the center crease, and fold the paper flop into the center crease. And of course, do the same to the opposite side. So far, so good. It's not that hard, huh? And of course, do the same to the rest of the two pouch. When you finish all four corners, it should look something like this. Be sure you need to make two of them. Have to be the same size though. Now this part is fun. Just take a scissor and cut it into four pieces. Now, of course, if you're really good at ripping it, you can use your fingers. Oh, and there's like crease patterns in between those four pieces and you can use them as a guide. Take one of the pieces and stick it right into the corner right there and it should fit very nicely. Pick up the whole entire center paper flap. Make sure the edge of the paper lines up properly and then form the crease. There's a little opening in the purple piece. Just stick the yellow piece into the purple piece. It should fit perfectly. Okay, now let's see it one more time. Insert it to the opening and move on to the rest of the two. Remember those two excess paper? We're gonna use them to make it into a handle. It really doesn't matter how you fold it into like a handle. I just like to hide the edge seam so I fold the uneven edge into the center. Just keep in mind the basket is designed to be a display item. It's not made to carry heavy objects. 
As you can see, the handle is not secure. Now if you want it to be durable, you may need to apply some glue. Place one finger to the edge of the basket to pop up the bottom layer paper. Be sure to pop all four corners. Voila! Now it's finished! It's a pretty little basket and it's also simple enough that you can make a bunch of them for your Easter party. If you're going to use it for the little ones to carry jelly beans around, be sure to use a strong glue to bond the handle really well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, so until next week, may you be happy!